Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Dinscor and I'm a librarian here at Fresno State. And in this screencast I'm going to show you how to access uh, the New York Times opinion pieces using the library's databases. So if you go to the library homepage at www.fresnostate.edu forward slash library, you'll see this page. You can also get here by just googling Fresno State Library. Go to databases by subject, it's right under the main search box here. If you click on that, this page organizes all of the databases that the library subscribes to by subject. We have, have over a hundred different databases and each one is appropriate to use for research in different subject areas. So if you click on, for instance, economics, you'll be taken to all the databases that the library subscribes to that are appropriate for, for research in economics. We also have a category for newspapers over here on the far right. If you click on that, you'll see the very first link is for ProQuest Newsstand. This is a great source for news articles. It has over a hundred, um, I'm sorry, 300 U.S. and international news sources. Um, so it covers the New York Times and several other major U.S. publications as well. You'll see here too that there's a database for the New York Times. This is a new database that we have. It goes back to 1851, but it only goes up to 2009, so you're not going to get the most current articles using this resource. But let's try this first link. ProQuest Newsstand is really where you, where you need to go. If you click on that, you'll be taken to the ProQuest Newsstand homepage. Now you do need to access this database coming through the library homepage. If you just Google ProQuest Newsstand, you're not going to be able to authenticate to get access to the content in this database. So you can access this database from home, but if you come in through the library homepage, you will be prompted to authenticate as a Fresno State student using your Fresno State email and password. But just remember that all of the databases do need to be accessed through the library homepage. So using this, this homepage of ProQuest Newsstand, make sure to type in New York Times into this first line. And then over here, using the drop-down menu, limit that to just the public, publication title. So you're only searching within the New York Times newspaper. Then on the second line, type in the word opinion. Then using this drop-down menu over here, limit it to the column. So you will only be searching for articles in the opinion column of the New York Times. You can also limit it down here by date. If you use this drop down menu, you can limit it to the last seven days, 30 days, or you can specify a date range that you would like to search within. I'm going to click on search. So these are all the opinion pieces and the New York Times that have come up in the results list. You'll see here they say op-ed. Let's say this is one that I'm interested, interested in. If you click on the title, you'll get to the full text. And this is just as it would appear in the print edition of the New York Times. Now, to get the URL for this article, you don't want to just copy and paste the URL that's at the top of the page. Instead, you want to email it to yourself. Now, to do that, you can use this email uh, link right here, but it will not provide you with the URL that you can plug into Blackboard. So instead, go over here to the Share tab that's right here, click on that, and the very first option right here is Email. If you click on that, a window will pop up where the URL is included in the email. So then email it to yourself, and you do have to do to and from, so you can use your, your, your one email address for both, and then click on send email. You will have to do this as well. You should get a confirmation message that says that the email was sent. So then, before you, before you log out of the database, make sure you go to your email. And there's, there's the link. And I did receive the email, and this is the URL that you can plug in to Blackboard and link to from Blackboard. And you should be able to get to the article that way. 
Okay. If you get stuck, if you go to the library homepage, go to Ask Us over here on the far right. And from here, you can contact a librarian using instant message. You can call us, you can text us, you can make an appointment. You can also email us a reference question, and those are usually answered within one business day. So good luck with your search.